Hey guys, Ghostor38 here. Wanted to bring you another little mini Criterion review. Uh, picked these up today from my local vintage stock because my Barnes & Noble is still not open yet. Uh, bought these all for around like $16 a piece. So do the math. Um, but anyway, bought these for a pretty affordable price. They'd be like between 20 to 30 these might be like 30 to 40 dollars at Barnes and Noble, so I got these for a better price. But anyway, I have not seen either of these three. I picked them up because they looked interesting, because I read the back of the cases. Um, I know for a fact Charlie Chaplin's Modern Times and Rashomon is still available to watch on the Criterion app, but Blue Velvet, I don't know. Um, so with that being said, I'll already get started by showing you this one first. This is... David Lynch's Blue Velvet. I'm not familiar with the director. I haven't seen any of his other work before, so this will be a first time watching him. This came out in 1986. It is spine number 977, and reading from the back of the case, it says, Home from college, Jeffrey Beaumont, Kyle McLaughlin, makes an unsettling discovery. A severed human ear lying in a field. In the mystery that follows, it by turns terrifying and darkly funny, Writer-director David Lynch borrows deep beneath the picturesque surfaces of small-town life. Driven to investigate, Jeffrey finds himself drawn closer to his fellow amateur sleuth, Sandy Williams, played by Laura Dern, as well as their person of interest, lounge singer Dorothy Valens, Isabella Rosalini, and facing the fury of Frank Booth, Dennis Hopper, a psychopath who will stop at nothing to keep Dorothy in his grasp. With intense performances and hauntingly powerful scenes and images, Blue Velvet is an unforgettable vision of innocence lost in one of the most influential American films of the past few decades. It's 120 minutes long, in color, 5.1 surround sound, 2, 3, 5.1 ratio aspect. It's a two disc. It's a second disc is a couple documentaries, deleted scenes, alternate takes, uh, interviews, Lynch reading from Room... To Dream, a 2018 book he co-authored, and excerpts. Excerpts by McKenna from A Room to Dream. Oh, that's the book. So yeah, this will be a first watch for me. I'll be really curious to see how it goes. So yeah, that's Blue Velvet. This next one is available on the Criterion app. Like I said, they both are, but this is Charlie Chaplin's Modern Times. This one came out in 1936. He did this film before he did The Great Dictator. It's about 87 minutes long, black and white, a silent movie. Charlie Chaplin's last outing as the little tramp puts on the iconic character to work as a giddy in a giddle, giddily inept factory employee who becomes smitten with a gorgeous gam, gamine. Paulette Goddard, with its barrage of unforgettable gags and sly commentary on class struggle during the Great Depression, modern times, the though made almost a decade into the talky era and containing moments of sound, even song, is a timeless showcase of Chaplin's untouchable genius as a director of silent comedy. It's two discs. Um, there's commentaries. Um, an interview. Trailers. A home movie show featuring Chaplin and actress Polly Goodard. Scores. Nico's daughter, Chaplin Two Reeler for the first time, short Cuban documentary, Charlie Chaplin Modern Time 2003, um, and a booklet. It's here. The pa the the feeling is very different on this. Almost it. I don't really know. It's not like paper. It's not like the. the I don't know the booklet here. The paper quality feels different, but it's different in a good way. It's interesting. But yeah, that's a little weird comment there, but side comment. But anyway, um, I know this is available in the Criterion app. I've said that twice now. My apologies. Um, have not seen this one before. I'm only familiar with his work on The Great Dictator. So yeah, this will be interesting to watch. So, oh yeah, I'm sorry. This came out in 1936, and this is spy number 543. So yeah, Chaplin's Modern Times. And then the last one is another Akira Kurosawa film, because I really enjoyed his work with um, The Seven Samurai. I bought this one brand new, uh, Modern Times and Blue Velvet, I, brought, I bought used. This one is Rashomon, a riveting psychological thriller that investigates the nature of truth and the meaning of justice. Rashomon is widely considered one of the greatest 
films ever made. Four people give different accounts of a man's murder and rape of his wife, which director Akira Kurosawa presents with striking imagery and an ingenious use of flashbacks. This eloquent masterwork and international sensation revolutionized, Jap revolutionized film language and introduced Japanese cinema and a commanding new star by the name of Toshiro Mifune to the Western world. Came out in 1950, it's 88 minutes long, black and white, in Japanese with English subtitles. Um, commentary, excerpts from the world of Kuzio Miyagawa, documentary, uh, two documentaries, archival radio interviews, original re-release trailers, a booklet, and booklet featuring essay of film historians, next from director Kirkusaw's something like an autobiography and reprints of Rashomon's two sources given by Rianosuke Akutagawa, Rashomon, and In a Grove. So there's two stories here in the book. I really liked Seven Samurai and the samurai film genre. It's kind of interesting. So I was really curious about picking this one up. And uh, my next Kurosawa film was trying to be Throne of Blood when I can find it. But anyway, um, I have not seen this before. Look forward to watching it. So that's Rashomon. Don't really have much closing thoughts on these three, except I look forward to watching these. Uh, stick around for more Criterion videos. I do have the 39 Steps in 1984 inner um, reviews being worked on right now. I just have to finish those up and then eventually upload them. Um, so yeah, um, stay tuned for those. And until then, I'll see you guys next time with another Criterion video. Be sure to hit that like if you enjoyed it. Comment below your favorite Criterion film. Um... Be sure to hit that bell notification so you'll stay up to date. Stay up to date when I make more videos or when the newest video comes out. And be sure to hit that subscribe to keep up to date with more videos like these. And until then, I will see you guys next time. And have a good rest of your day. And take care. Peace.